I'm Jack Hargreaves, and this is my dog, Bess. We live right in the country. Why don't you come and visit us? I want you to come with me today and look at a little house in the country where a friend of mine lives. Now, if this house was in London, it would probably be older than any house in the town except perhaps the Tower of London. But in the country, it's one of hundreds of cottages that look exactly like this. So the Thatchers are here today, and they're beginning to pull off the old roof in order to re-thatch it again for what must be probably the 30th or 40th time since the little house was built. And as the thatcher pulls off the old thatch and throws it to the ground, his son is carting it away to be burned. Now, he thinks he's a very modern young man with that long hair. But the interesting thing is that his hairdo is probably exactly the same as the Elizabethan boy who first did this job for his dad when this house was first re-thatched all these hundreds of years ago. He's come to the edge now, and they pick the best straw for the edge, and they work it in very carefully, because they're very proud of getting a good edge to the whole roof. Those are called spiles that he's putting in there with his hammer. There's his reed. Well, that's the comb, you see, how he beats the thatch in it, and it's covered with fine nails, like a big square comb, and he can use it when he's finished in order to comb all the least loose reed out and make it all look very neat. Now this is just two or three weeks later. And when I came along, the job was nearly finished except for that last top corner. And look at the difference. See what a beautiful job it is. And see those low windows which prove that once upon a time this house didn't have an upper story. He's clipped all the edges, you see, with those sheep shears. And these bits of straw which are hanging on the creeper won't hand there long because this is done in springtime and the birds will pinch all those in the next two or three days in order to build their nests. And those starlings are terribly cross because they had a nest in that top corner in the loose thatch last year and they can't think what's happened to their building site. It's all changed since the last time they looked at it. And this, believe it or not, was once upon a time the main road between Southampton and Salisbury. That cottage was actually on the main road. And this was the sort of ground over which you had to travel, even between city and city, in the days when this house was first built.